In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to create tracks in Reaper. So we're starting off with a blank project. And if we want to create a track in Reaper pretty quickly, we just go over here to the track control panel and double click, and that creates a track. If we want to create another, just go below it, double click again, and just keep doing that for every track we want to create. So that's a pretty quick way of creating a new track. Now, if we have a lot of tracks in our project, there might not be a place to double click. So instead, we can just click the track we want to put our new track under, go to the menu on the track, and insert new track. We'll use the keyboard shortcut on PC, it's Control T, and on Mac, it's Command T. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and that creates a new track. And we could do that as many times as we want. And if we go to our track, put it in record, we could see it's already set up with default settings. If I right click over here, we can see the monitoring modes. I'm monitoring through our track. Over here is our input, which starts off as MIDI. So I play my MIDI keyboard. We see level over here. So we know it's working. But we might want to change our input to analog. And for me, input two is where my guitar is plugged into. So I could change it here, maybe change the volume. We'll put a plugin on here to work with my guitar. But as you can see, we still have to do a bunch of things to get ready to work that way. We can do this quicker if we change our defaults. So let's delete all these tracks. Let's go to our preferences. On PC, it's Control P, and on Mac, it's Command Comma. And that opens up the Reaper preferences. We can go over here under Project to Track Send Defaults. And this area right here decides the default for new tracks. We can change the volume by default. It starts at zero. We can choose to see our envelopes by default, what automation mode we're in, the track height, small, medium, or large, or custom, if our tracks show up in the mixer, and if they're sending to the main parent send, which is usually your speakers. We could choose if the track is record armed by default. Let's turn this on. And over here, we could change the configuration. We could change the input mode, on or off, tape auto style. We could change the record mode, recording the input or the output, and change the input by default. So my example before, we could change it to input mono, which is analog, and use input two, where my guitar is plugged into, my computer audio interface. So if we choose this, let's also choose automatic record arm when track is selected. Hit OK. And now if we create a new track, it's set up that way. It's automatically in record using auto mode, which is useful if we create multiple tracks, as only the tracks we select will be in record. So from recording guitars very quickly, I can jump to whichever track I want to record to, and the other track comes out of record. And as we can see, our input is set up to be input to where my guitar is plugged into. So that's a bit quicker when we're creating our tracks. But the one downside is we can only choose one default at a time. So if we want to be more flexible and create custom tracks very quickly, we have to use track templates. So let's delete all these tracks. And let's go up here to the insert menu and choose to create a virtual instrument on a new track. Then I'm going to choose a virtual instrument plugin to use on a track. I'm going to choose Numa, which is a free plugin we could find on the internet, which has a pretty good piano sound, at least for free. So I'm going to double click this effect, and it looks like this. And it sounds like this. Now I could save this as a track template so we can get back to it very quickly later. Let's rename it Piano. We'll right click the track, go to Save Tracks as Track Template, 
Let's give it a name and save it. And now let's delete this track. At any point, if we need a piano, we can just right click over here, insert track from template, and it's saved right here. Choose it, and it creates that track exactly as we saved it. Ready to go right away. And we could do this with any type of track we want, or even multiple tracks. Let's duplicate this track. Duplicate tracks. Let's name the second one strings. And let's change the preset on the second one to be a string sound. So now you can hear the piano and the strings at the same time. Maybe lower the volume of our strings. Now we have a blend of piano and strings. And we could save this as one track template we could recall at any point. Just select both tracks, right click, save tracks as track template, give it a name and save it. And now at any point, if we want to recall that sound, just right click, insert track from template and choose piano strings. And just like that, it recreated those two tracks exactly as we saved it. So it's a great way of saving and recalling our tracks in a very specific way. And we can use this for any type of track we create, for recording or mixing. And we could also save them in folders. So if we go up here to the options menu, we can scroll down to show Reaper resource path. And that opens up the folder where Reaper is installed. We can scroll down to the track templates and open it up. And here's where our track templates are stored. Right now, I only have these two, but I can create a folder and add these into it. Let's name it. Now, if we go back to Reaper and right click, when we insert our track from template, it now shows up as a folder, as you can see right here. And we can make this as complicated while still organized as we want. As we can see, I have a whole bunch saved right in here in folders. Now, if I go back to Reaper and right click, insert track from template, you can see I have it organized in folders my arpeggios, my drums, even my mixing templates. So if I choose my mixing template one, it recalls all these tracks with all the settings I set up when I saved this track template. So it's very quick to get back to exactly where I left off, or in this case, to a template I want to use. But instead of right clicking in the track control panel and doing it from here, insert tracks from template and choosing them from here, we could also do this much quicker from the Media Explorer. If we go up here to the View menu, Media Explorer, which we could also open up all Control X on the PC, Option Command X on the Mac, and that opens up our Media Explorer, which is typically used for our samples or sounds we want to drag in. We could scroll up over here and see our track templates in this window. Here are the folders we created. I can go to my piano sounds, I need to double click this right here to recall that piano sound. We're just dragging it into the track control panel like this. Drag and drop it. And it shows up right here with both tracks because I saved two tracks to layer. And we could do this with all the track templates we saved. Go back to my mixing template, choose it right here, and either double click it or just drag it to the track control panel like this and drop it. And all those tracks that were saved with my template show up automatically. So it's a great way of recalling our tracks or creating tracks, exactly the tracks you want very quickly 
in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the fastest way to create tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.